Hey guys, how's it going? This is Alpha Lockpicker here, and welcome back to this week's Locksport update. This is a really fun video series that I run every single Saturday to serve as a great place for me to update the community on everything that I've been working on, and also serves as a really great place for the community to update everything on what they have been working on. As always, if you have any updates at all that you would like to see shared next week, please drop them in the comment section below, and I'd really love to try to share them. So, this video is coming out on Sunday this week because I was a little bit busy. I was having my roof redone on my house and I had a few other things going on. But I'm very happy to get this video up for you today. So, the very first thing that I'd like to share with you today is going to be just going through last week's Locksport update quickly and just taking a quick look through the comment section so we can take a really quick look. So, I'm going to bring that up for us as you can see right here. So when we scroll through the comment section, one thing that popped out to me was Beginner Lockpicking Diaries. He's shared a few times that he's been having some health issues and he hasn't been able to keep his channel going. He hasn't made a video in a long time. But what I have in front of you here, which you'll be able to read if you'd like to pause the video, but I'm going to skip over to this part here which says, long story short, I have prolapsed discs between C5, C6, C7 that are severely compressing the nerve roots going to my left arm, the tensioning hand that started early September of last year. It has been making it very difficult for him to be able to pick locks and continue on. Through some conversations I've had, it sounds like he may need to have an operation, and this has really been having a negative outcome with his quality of life. It's been something truly devastating. He's been in chronic pain, and I really hope that you'll start to feel better. So what I'm going to do is we're going to click on his channel right here so we can take a quick look at him. So you can see that he has 392 subscribers. He has made several videos. And when we look at the About section, we can see that he started in November 26th of 2017. And here's a list of some of the stuff that he likes. If you ever want to reach out to him, you can sign in and check out his email address. But what I would like to do right now is I'm going to bring up this video, his video number eight, so we can just take a really quick glimpse and see what his channel is all about. So what I'm going to do is roll that video for you right now. Hey guys, Dan from Beginner Lock Picking Diaries. I am attempting to pick um, the Lockwood lock that I just put together with four spools one standard and one spool is number one position um, if you haven't seen my previous video I keyed it up with those driver pins and now I'm going to see if I can actually pick it or if I've set too much of a challenge so let's go and have a look shall we um, Number two, a little bit crunchy from number two actually, that was number two I think. Number one, nothing. Number three. Alright, so thank you so much for checking out Beginner Lock Picking Diaries video. I just wanted to share a quick clip of his video number eight. Um, what I'd like to do is just let you take a quick look at the description of the video. And then you can just see some of the really great comments out there. So, Beginner Lock Picking Diaries is a pretty cool channel. I really do hope that he feels better and he's able to be able to recover and get back to Locksport and just his regular quality of life. As always, if you'd like to help support his channel, hitting the subscribe button right here will make such a big difference. Every subscription makes such a big difference and it's just something really nice to do. So I'll put a link to that in the very top and in the video description so you can check him out if you'd like to see more content by him once he gets back into Locksport again. So moving on from Beginner Lock Picking Diaries, what I'd like to do is I'm going to share a, another channel with you. So this channel that I'm going to share with you is going to be a person that you are very familiar with. What I'm going to do is bring them up for you right now. So the person is going to be Lockmania. So what he has done uh, about a month ago, if I remember correctly, is he's made a secondary channel called Axehead. 
currently has 51 subscribers. He created this March 23rd of 2020. And this is what some of the content looks like. If you ever wondered what Lockmania looks like, he certainly has some videos showing his face, which is a pretty cool thing, so you can get to know him much better. So what I wanted to do, just to show off a quick clip of his channel, I'm going to show you his video number 28. So what I'm going to do is get that rolling for you right now. Hello and welcome back to the channel. So I have another free knives that I have had for a while, uh, quite some years. Let's start with the small one. This one is the least sharp one because it's been used. The uh, This is actually quite nice. It works well. Haven't broken on me yet, like that one. So we have a knife and made by Fusco. Stainless steel, I don't know what type of steel, but uh, it is 10 centimeter in the blade and it's actually quite nicely in the hand. Fits perfectly for me. Alright, so thank you so much for checking out Axe Head, which is Lockmania's secondary channel. I think that is a pretty cool thing to share. And if you enjoyed the content that you saw and you'd like to see more videos by him, what you can do is click the subscribe button. I'll put a link up on the top here so you can check him out and consider subscribing. Every subscription makes such a big difference. And thank you so much for checking out his secondary channel. So the next thing that I'd like to do is I'm going to share another channel with you. So the channel that I'm going to want to share with you is going to be Nose Picker. This is a channel that Lockmania shared with me that I didn't know about. So what I'm going to do is bring up their channel for you right here so you can check them out and just get a really quick glimpse of what Nose Picker is all about. We can see that they have several videos, 20 subscribers, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to play one of their videos, which is going to be a lock picking competition entry video. So what I'm going to do is get that going for you right now. Right, this is my attempt at a competition entry. Videos really aren't my thing. So the competition involves using a pick as a tensioner and a tensioner as a pick. So here goes. That's very awkward. I'm not even sure if I'm tensioning right. This lock has opened very easily in the past from raking, but with the tension wrench as a pick, it's not going very well. <laughs> and we're open. All right, so thank you so much for checking out Nose Picker. And what I have pulled up here is his video. And what you can do is just check out his description and just see some of the great comments on his video. But as always, if you would like to check out more content by him, you can hit the subscribe button. What I'm gonna do is put a link up on the top here so you can check him out and consider subscribing. Once again, every subscription makes such a big difference. I just wanna say thank you to everyone that's able to help subs subscribe and support these channels every single week. So now what I'd like to do is share a, another channel that was shared with me by Lockmania. This channel goes by Shannon East. So what I'm going to do is just bring up a little showing of what their channel looks like. So here is Shannon East's channel. You can see that they have 13 subscribers. They've made several videos. And what I'm going to do is try to show you a quick clip of this one titled May 8th, 2020. So without further ado, let's get that video rolling for you right now. Okay. Um, <clears throat> try this video again. 
I got started it earlier and got interrupted by uh, some drama up in Columbus, of course. Imagine that. But I thought that um, I've had a few people ask me about how you repin these um, things, these locks, or any lock. And I just thought I'd do a quick demo, hopefully, on that. This is the one I pinned up yesterday, the day before. So thank you so much for checking out Shannon East. So what I have pulled up for you right here is going to be the video. You can see that the video has not had any comments yet. So if you would like to check this out and leave some comments, that'd be a pretty cool thing to do. But what I'm going to do is just recommend if you'd like to see more videos, you can hit the subscribe button. I'll put a link on the top here so you can check them out further. Every subscription makes such a big difference. And thank you again for showing your support to all of these great channels. So the final channel that I'm going to share with you is going to be called Demith Smith. So this is a channel that popped up in one of my lock sport um, videos recently and he shared a pretty cool video with me and I think that it was just a really cool thing to share and I will share that with you in just a few moments but as you can see Demith Smith has 51 subscribers has a few videos and what we're going to do is we're going to check out this video right here called lock pin transfer jig I think this was a pretty cool idea I haven't seen it implemented before it is sort of similar to a leashy tool but I think it is a really cool idea and implementation. So what we're going to do is share that with you right now. This is my lock decoding pin pin jig, pinning jig decoder. Get these nice old locks on uh, make sure I can see that. Yeah. These nice old locks many times they have no keys. Um, not a big fan of uh, doing the old lock a pair of ice grips on it and beat the crap out of the lock and hope you have a key that semi works okay um, so this little baby right here will uh, pin about 80% of uh, padlocks that have decent open keyways um, you know a lot of the Corbins you know, these Corbin locks have a pretty wide, wide keyway with no warding directly in the way of the pinning. You know, depending on the cut, you know, some work better than others. I found this works on a lot of locks. Um, so what I have here is the feeler carriage. Um, so it's got a, an elastic on it with uh, different pegs I can adjust the tension. Um, I, I made these bits out of uh, 024 feeler gauge uh, spring steel. I have uh, some different different depth hooks for different you know different cuts of the pins or whatever to you know so I can get different ones in there. It's adjustable you know I can take these screws out move it in and out. Uh, to be able to fit basically be able to fit any lock inside this so thank you so much for checking out Demith Smith's video what I have pulled up here is the page where the video is posted so this is a really cool device which will end up making it so you can transfer the bidding onto a piece of tape and it will help you guide filing down the key to the correct depths. I recommend you check out the entire video if you'd like to get a really great demonstration on how this tool works. But here is a quick look at the video description, some of the really great comments and everyone giving him some really nice feedback. But either way, if you'd like to show some of your support, you can always consider subscribing. I'll put a link up on the top here so you can check him out further. And I just want to say thank you again to everyone that helps support all of these smaller channels. But either way, guys, all that I have for you today, if you guys have any questions or suggestions, as always, please leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking this out, and I hope you all have a great day, and I cannot wait to see you 
in the next video.